If you're watching this, I'm dead. Hi, I just wanted to start off the video by giving you a really stereotypical horror film technique. <sighs> hey, I'm Phoebe. Sorry for not making the video in so long. I've just been, a lot of things has been happening. You know, school, family, just a bunch of things has been happening and it's kept me really busy. But I've wanted to make a video for ages. And I've been caught up on YouTube and stuff like that, but I've just wanted to make a video in ages and I just haven't had the time to. But now I'd had a free afternoon and I really, really wanted to do it, so here it is. I have been really, really slack with reading, hence why I've been so busy, and I've been really slack with reading, but currently I'm reading The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. I'm actually really, really liking this. Um, I was, I saw this on Baz Pierce's channel. And um, he said it was really good and well written and really good plot and storyline and stuff like that. And so I really just wanted to read it. And I'm reading a similar book at school that takes place in sort of the same time period. And so I really wanted to read this. And I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm about like 50 pages from the end. That's really, really good so far. So there'll be a review up for this soon, but I just haven't finished it yet. So this video is really just I've been thinking about certain videos to make and so I'm thinking about what I would like to make a video about and what I rant about the most is things that annoy me or just my opinions in general because I'm really conflict prone and so I don't shy away from conflict if I have an opinion about something I will normally just share it and so I thought it'd be a good idea to make a video about opinions for my channel. And yes, I did steal this from Buzz Pierce because Buzz Pierce is just perfect. Okay, back to the start of the video. I have a few opinions about this. Is horror film techniques and recent horror films. And don't get me wrong. I am, I love horror films so much. That's my favourite genre of films, literature, everything. It's just my favourite genre. And new horror films are just awful. Like, Oh, like like some new horror films are really really good but like I'm subscribed to a few channels that put out horror trailers and some of them are just like they're painful to watch and like certain films that use like shaky camera work for like legitimate horror is just it annoys me so much and I'm pretty sure like started like the trends I'm sure it happened before this but I'm sure the trends started around paranormal activity because it was that whole film is just shaky camera work and it's just awful it's pitiful oh it really pisses me off just some new horror films the really really just they don't they don't have enough depth and like a lot of horror films that that I've watched the trailers for are just they're, they're, for one horrible acting like some of them some of them like makes me question that if they've even acted before because some people some people who act in horror films are just awful and just a bit painful to watch and oh that's one thing that it irritates the hell out of me is horrible acting, especially in horror films. Um, and especially recycled plots, recycled storylines. You know, what I love about a horror film is originality. And when, when a horror film is original with, um, you know, same techniques but like a small twist on their techniques to make it, you know, authentic, and stuff like that. I love horror films like that and so many recent horror films have recycled plots, recycled techniques and it irritates the crap out of me and that's definitely a second thing that annoys me. Definitely shaky camera work. 
like I can hardly imagine it ever being done well but like I've seen a few horror films with shaky camera work and it never works and I don't understand like I know they try to like build tension you know try to give it more human approach more human point of view but it really just doesn't work for me because obviously people who are easily scared will get scared by those things but I'm not a person who's easily scared I love horror films so I've watched a lot of them I don't get scared by a lot of them but you know, I really analyze films in general. I'm a year 12 media student, so I analyze the crap out of films without even thinking about it. It's like it's a subconscious thing. But when I analyze horror films, like so many horror films that I've analyzed are just, ugh, it's just annoying me. That Yeah, that's definitely something that, anno that annoys me. Like, uh, like I don't, I don't know what directors are doing now pick up your game pick up your game bring bring back kubrick please so we can have more films like the shining because the shining was a masterpiece even though it wasn't accurate to the book you know kubrick's version of the shining is just brilliant masterpiece tension acting everything it's just brilliant. I need to talk about something else before sting comes out of my ears. Okay, another thing that annoys me. I'm probably gonna get lynched for this, but is the fault in our stars really that good? So it's it's difficult to actually find a person on YouTube that didn't like the fault in our stars. I've only found like a few, and a few being two or three. Which is ridiculous but I did not like the fault in our stars for for you know obvious reasons I didn't like the fault in our stars because the way the characters spoke and John Green is you know a great writer not the best writer in the world he definitely is not but you know he's a great writer he's a good writer but his characters you know Hazel is my age and I don't speak with the vocabulary of an 18th century writer like like modern day teenagers they don't speak like that when they're when they speak and they they have monologues it just goes on for pages and it just seems like it's not it wasn't authentic it wasn't spoken on the spot it doesn't it's not how teenagers speak and that really irritated me you can definitely see that in the trailer I found the characters quite pretentious mm, mm. like pretentious can sometimes you know be funny and some characters make pretentious look bloody brilliant but no not Hazel and Augustus I didn't, I didn't like the characters, I didn't like the plot really. And that's not me saying, I don't have anything against, like I've seen a lot of people that don't like, I've seen, no, not a lot, I've seen a few people that didn't like the book and they were lynched because, you know, the, hate, the haters thought that they have something against cancer patients and against cancer survivors that's a load of crap i have i don't have anything against you know cancer survivors or cancer patients or people enduring cancer but it just wasn't a good book and i did not like the vault now stars so is john green and another thing i'd like to say is slow walking Every time I'm at school, like, it happens every single day that, like, there'll be a huge crowd walking and, you know, I'm trying to, you know, get to my locker, go see my friends, get to my class. It's not like I'm running like a year seven, but, you know, I, I am a fast walker and so, just some people aren't. And this isn't a pointed remark at anyone at my school. 
It is. And what really, really annoys me, what has really been annoying me recently, um, is like booktubers who, you know, say, oh, I, I haven't had enough money to do a book haul this month, or, you know, I need to do, I need to get enough books, I need to accumulate enough books in a month to have a haul at the end of it for each month. That really, really irritates me. Because I know I've had a quite a few book hauls on this channel, but I have never thought that I need to do, I need to do, accumulate books every month in order to do a book haul for each month. And that really, really annoys me. And that, that YouTubers think that they need to do a book haul every single month. And, and it's, and and it just irritates me that people will go out of their way to, you know, waste money. And it and it's like it's not wasting money because they're getting books that they want, but it's it's wasting money when you can save that money for something else and get that book at a later date. And it just irritates me that they think they need to do a book haul every month. And you don't you just don't. I don't know why people think they do, but they don't. And another thing I've noticed is something that has affected me is, you know, when I got into booktubers, I was alone into YA booktubers. So, you know, I, I subscribed to a lot of them. And what happened to me is the first non-YA booktuber I subscribed to, because of her absolute brilliance was Ophelia Dagger, Old Hot Radio, and she's absolutely fantastic and she's just so witty and fantastic and brilliant. She reads some way, a minuscule portion of YA, but mostly non-YA books. And I really really liked her and I still like her and I bought a lot of the books that she recommends her subscribers and then as I progressively and gradually got more into non-YA booktubers, they tended to put me off YA booktubers. And I don't know have I don't know about anyone who has been affected by this, but every I think this is how this is how the non-YA booktubers are growing in the community more than the YA booktubers. Like subscribers will start out loving YA booktubers and then we'll go to non-YA booktubers and be put off YA booktubers because as I've been watching my favourite non-YA booktubers are Ophelia Dagger and Baz Pierce. They're just brilliant. As I've been watching all the non-YA YouTubers, you know, talk about their books, talk about how they feel about non-YA and YA YouTubers and stuff like that, I've actually been put off YA and I've actually unsubscribed to all my all the way booktubers I used to watch and now only watch non way booktubers because now way booktubers just irritate me and I don't know if anyone's been affected by this tell me in the comments if you have because I don't know about anyone else but I feel like that's how the non way like audience and community is growing but yeah that's my opinions for today. I'm sorry for not making a video for like two months. That's horrible. But I, I will try my best to make more videos. And... And you know this isn't going to happen. my life.